blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, to give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. Lord, I pray that it be your words, not my words. And I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. I am. I am just the dust of the earth. And no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. But I am God's dirt. I have seen. I have seen too much. I have seen more than, more than any other man. I was shown much death and destruction and untold billions in pain, suffering, and then death. I have seen demon-possessed people kill, eat, destroy everything before them. I have seen fallen angels walk the earth just like it says in Revelation 9, 14, and 15 saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. I have seen grotesque giants, Nephilim, walk the earth and destroying everything before them as well. I have seen starvation on a global scale and people eating everything that they could find to eat, like rats, pets, grass, leaves, dirt, bark, worms, animals in the forest were all gone. I finally saw many people eating other people until it was considered normal and common to do so. I have seen loving parents sell their children to strangers for a handful of beans or rice. I have seen loving parents cook and eat their small children. I have seen weather turn for the worst and massive heat waves come upon America. I saw people scorched by the sun with terrible sores on their face. And I saw trees and grass and crops all burn up. I saw people's faces and arms and legs with sores caused by the sun. And many people died because of the heat. I saw winters that were so cold and people did anything to keep warm. I saw a time with no power and nothing worked. No running water, no flush toilets, no, no air conditioning, no heat, no TV, no cell phones. Nothing worked. I saw a time where you could not get any help if you had a problem. No police, no fire department, no ambulance service, no doctors, no hospitals, no medications, nothing. I saw bodies pile up in people's yards and then in the streets. I saw the collapse of the economy and the dollar had no value whatsoever. Everything closed, nothing was open. I saw disease rampant upon, upon people. I saw plagues of lice, flies, boils, sores upon people. I saw riots everywhere. Everyone was rioting, everyone was fighting, and, and much killing was done in these riots. But the smell, I will never forget that smell of decaying bodies. The smell was everywhere and in everything, and you could not get away from that smell. It was the smell of death, destruction, decaying bodies, and the smell of brimstone, sulfur. The smell alone was, was enough to make one sick and lose what little food they did have. And the rioters, they burned everything. America burned. I saw war. I saw foreign troops in America, much fighting. And these troops were from countries that hated America, so they killed everyone. I saw nuclear weapons going off over major American cities, ones that would not comply with the orders of the foreign troops the uh, armies that were invading America. I have seen many earthquakes, mostly along the west coast, but I saw a massive earthquake on the New Madrid Fault in southern Missouri, and that destroyed everything from St. Louis to Memphis, and it went for several hundred miles in all directions. I saw monster tsunamis on the east coast and the west coast, Jeremiah 50 and 42. The sea has come up on Babylon. She is covered with the waves thereof. I saw major volcanoes, massive storms, many tornadoes, hail the size of softballs, and larger. The super rich, now they, the elite, they will tell you that you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. The meaning of this is that they intentionally uh, plan to uh, destroy America, the American economy, so they can bring in the beast system. 
Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken her wine, therefore the nations are mad. I saw all these things. I have been, I have seen so much, too much, more than I wanted to see, more death and destruction than I cared to see, more than any man alive. I have seen too much. I was not shown the Antichrist and his torture and murder of the faithful Christians who will not worship him as God. Billions will die at the hands of the Antichrist. I guess God thought I had seen enough. And when I think about all that I have been shown, I weep bitterly until I choke. Tears fall like great drops of rain. If you saw what I was shown, you would weep too. I pray, Lord, no more, but thy will be done, Lord. These are the last days, and we are, we are that last generation. And our time is very, very short. And much pain, death, and destruction, it is coming. And are, and are you sure that you do not have a little time for a work for the Lord? You just may be that person who causes one person to come to Jesus and repent of sin and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Just one King James Bible that you drop off in a hospital waiting room or a doctor's office waiting room can make a difference. Also we have King James Bibles on DVD in plastic cases and they do look very nice and very professional and these are great for businesses and especially restaurants. And just email me a request or mail me a request for Bibles and we will send you free King James Bibles uh, and you can place these near where you live. This is a little work, but it is so very important to God. And if the Holy Spirit places it in your heart to support this work, God's work, all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit. God bless you mightily for this work for the Lord. And we will see you in paradise on streets of gold, beside the crystal sea, walking with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we will see you there on that day. And we love you all so very, very much. And every one of you have been a gift from God to us in this ministry. Always remember that you are a precious child of the Most High, true, living God, the God of Israel, who loves you and who treasures you above all the gold of the earth and above all the stars of heaven. And we love and treasure you as well. In this ministry, we do not have partners. We have family. And we love you like family, and we pray for you like family. And may God hold you in his loving arms, just like he held me. I do all that I do to get back into those loving arms again, back where I belong, and where you belong as well. With much love, and more grace from above. Amen. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. You can look around, you can see you can see everything is collapsing down. The stock market is collapsing. The bond market is collapsing. Employment is collapsing. The economy is collapsing. The dollar is losing its value. Our enemies, they are lining against us. And our nation is full of, of people that don't belong here. Our nation is full of, of young men of military age from many nations that hate America, from that hate America and even our politicians, even our politicians, they seem to do everything to hurt America. And they do nothing that helps America. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, we know you're coming soon, Lord. We know you're coming soon, Lord. We know you're coming soon, Lord. We just have to be faithful and true to you, Lord. Put our full faith, our full trust in you, Lord, because there is nothing else. There is nothing else. This world has nothing, has nothing for us. And it has nothing we need. Because if we have Jesus, if we have Jesus in our heart, we have all that we need. We have everything that we need. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me a watchman and giving me dreams and visions, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a work to do in these last days. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My prayer is, Lord, that I be faithful and true to you, Lord. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, then please forgive me for my 
my weakness. Please forgive me for my weakness. Oh, Lord, because you are my strength. You are my rock. You are my strong and mighty tower. And you are my anchor. And on you I will depend. I will trust. Put my full faith in you, Lord. In you, Lord. Nothing of this world. Nothing of this world can save us now. It has nothing for us. And it has nothing we need. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, I pray. And I pray, Lord. I pray, Lord, for all of those that do a work for you, Lord. That are out there in the mission fields. That are placing Bibles in waiting rooms. I pray for them, Lord. That are placing DVD Bibles in restaurants and businesses, Lord. I pray for them, Lord. I pray you keep them safe, Lord. That you inspire them. That you lead them and guide them. And that you be with them, Lord. And that you heal them. Strengthen them, Lord. And I pray all this. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen.